Now, I got my paints all, all mixed up, but I want to remind you something. This is messy. So, first thing that I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to get my painting shirt on, my favorite shirt. My, peep, my favorite people call me Grandpa. I love that shirt. So, let me put this on. And, okay, and along with that, you can see I've got a, an old, my painting shirt, it's got paint on it. And you also got to see that I've got plastic down, I've got all this protection so paint will get over, all over. Because you can't just do this in your house. This is going to be a kind of a job that you probably can't do at your house. But i got to tell you, you can use crayons. You ask your parents if you can do it, they'll find a place. I like you to be using crayons and just putting colors together and making different forms and do that. But I'm, I'm ready to go, so we're going to keep on going. I'm going to take uh, this blue with a little bit of silver. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pouring it on this canvas. Canvas is a, actually a fabric, a cloth, almost a, kind of the same thing that you uh, to use to um, make clothing with. And I'm going to spread it all around here like this because what I'm going to do next is, is hope I've got enough, and then the next is I'm going to take this tool, spatula, and I'm going to start spreading it all over this canvas. I'm going to make sure the whole canvas is covered and I, I have to change my hands and kind of just hold this thing just a little bit at an angle and and it's it's okay it's messy now uh, a lot of times uh, some of you have come over and stuff you know that I uh, that I'll put you in gloves and things so that this uh, doesn't get all over the place oh look at the cells are already happening cells are little like bubbles that uh, come up because I put that stuff that uh, uh, little uh, liquid that you see me drop in. So I'm going to take this. I want to cover up all the edges. Okay. If I fast forward for something, you'll you'll know that I did it. Okay. Wow. Well, that's pretty cool already, isn't it? Okay. And I just I want it thick. Okay. Nice and thick, and it is. But you can see that it's kind of trying to bubble, which is cool. Uh, showing a little bit of white. Okay, the other thing about artists is sometimes you just got to know when to quit. So I'm going to quit. I'm going to put that off to the side. The next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this uh, coastal water and Grandpa has made these strings in advance so that he can use these strings. I'm going to use another one of these uh, spatulas. I'm going to put this string in there. Okay, now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull the string out. I'm going to take off a little bit of the paint while I do it so it isn't too sloppy. I'm going to get my next string already up and in that stuff so that it can start soaking because this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it. I'm going to dangle it. I'm going to try to get it in the middle and I'm going to wiggle it around and down and over the edge. Then I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to tape it down to my board. Now I've tested all this before I even started. I used, uh, uh, I, I did like a dry run. I was making my plans and how I would do this. And so now I'm going to take this one out of here and I'm going to do this one in the corner. Oh my goodness. It's really wiggly. Okay, but we'll use that wiggle. We'll use that wiggle to do this. Okay. And then down off the edge. And yeah, that, that's longer than I... Uh, it's wet down there, but that's okay. I'm going to tape this down. So if all of a sudden you guys see that this goes real fast, it's because I'm going to try to get this all to fit on this video. All right. A little bit of rag, because you know I got rags around because we get a little paint on ourselves. You can wear gloves, like I say, and a lot of times I have you wearing gloves. Okay.
gonna spin this around so I can work with it better. I think I'm gonna put a couple of these in here at a time. Why not? They're all the same color. Okay, let's get these in here. Get them all wet. I don't like that one. That one needs to be wet more, wet more, wet more. Wet. There's an idea. Kind of shake them around. All right, kind of wipe off some of that. Make my wigglies. Come off the edge, let it hang down. Take another piece of tape. Take another one. I think I'm going to get this one a little more done in there, a little higher up on it. All right. one make that one go in there and we'll do that corner I got plenty of paint left I might do more than one project with this okay put that off to the side don't want it to tip out all right do the wiggle 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 with the string okay let the string come down to here put the tape on it and now, okay, we'll see if this works. I, I practiced it a couple of dry runs. That means I didn't have the paint on there, but I tried the strings on there, and I, I had watched what this guy did, and, and I know I don't have the gloves on because I, I feel fine without them. This is what we're going to do now, the moment of truth. I'm going to lift this up. Well, hey, I'll just do it. Sorry you couldn't see all that. But as I pull them off, I left this design. You see these little, these are called cells. See how they break in apart throughout it? Well, that's really it. This is what I've this is what I've come up with. This is really the end of it. This is what it's going to look like. Now it's going to dry and some of these other cells will come out. We can see them popping right there. I'm going to stop for now with you and then I'll uh, I'll come back when it's drier and we can kind of see what we uh we end up with. Okay. Sometimes it's called the moment of truth. 
It's when you look at a piece of art or something you've written and you've read it over again and you self-critique. That doesn't mean criticize. Criticize is when someone says just nasty things. Critique means let's look it over. Let's see what we did right. Let's so see what we did wrong. I can see this little splash here. I can see that these uh, the gels have gone um, a little deep into the, the side. I can see, you know, that when I pulled it, it kind of messed up over here. The, the color idea is pretty good. It's not bad. I got that silver. Looks pretty nice. So I am, I am critiquing myself, how I maybe, you know, how I lifted it. Did I do things in the right order? It's okay. I can do that. And we're usually our worst critics. So I'm looking at it. I'm being critical. The next part, though, can be a little rough because it's actually asking someone else what they think of what you've done. And that can either be criticism or critique. Critique is helpful criticism. If you ever see something that you just can't say something nice about, don't say nothing at all. Or you could say, that's really interesting. Now, guess who's here? Nanny. Nanny, oh. uh, what do you think? Is this That's really interesting? interesting. <laughs> no, no. Remember, take it lightly because there's nothing no, so that's serious. That's beautiful. It, I can see, like you said, right here, yeah. you can see some canvas coming through. Yeah, that was the gel. That was the cell gel. Mm. It did it on another paper. P painting that I did. Yeah, Remember what I was true. telling you guys yeah. about how you learn from your mistakes? I've seen this before and I've done it now with this one, so I'm going to probably stay away or I'm going to do it a little differently. Some of the little ones Maybe have more turned paint. out. Yeah, and less of that uh, that the cell. I put them. It, it, mm -hmm. it was too much. Okay. It's beautiful though. It looks like flowers. Oh, it kind of does. Yeah, yeah. it kind of does. Uh, now the other thing, of course, is, is the idea of, hey, uh, especially when you use this kind of art because you don't have a what's right and what's wrong and what's up and what's down. Another part of this is trying to figure out, well, what it is up? What down. is down, dude? This does feel like the bottom that right does, here. See, that feels like the bottom? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, only me and you guys know for sure how we did this. So, look, I don't mind if you uh, sent me a note critiquing my art. And uh, remember, don't do any art without asking your parents first. Know that Nanny and I love you, and we'll talk to you soon.